Hi, my name is Adam Gilmore from Demodelo Solutions. Today I'm going to do a quick demo of how you can use Demodelo Architect, which is our data warehouse automation tool, to uh, pull data from software as a service uh, providers. So I'm going to demonstrate uh, pulling data from a um, software as a service provider called FreshBooks. And to connect to FreshBooks, we use um, a ODBC driver. So these drivers are provided by a company called CData and CData have uh, ADBC drivers for many different software as a service providers. Uh, for example, there's FreshBooks, Microsoft Dynamics, Salesforce, um, QuickBooks and all kinds of other data sources including OData, JSON, LDAP, SharePoint, MySQL, Facebook, Google Sheets, Azure Tables, AdWords, Marketo and the list goes on. So basically what this means is using the model architect you can incorporate into your data warehouse information from cloud providers, from software as a service providers, all kinds of things. So the first thing you do with the model architect is you create a connection to your source. So in this case uh, we're going to create a what just a plain old database connection because we're using ODBC and we choose our ODBC driver and in this case I want to choose my um, data source specification. Here we have CData FreshBooks source 64 bit. I can test that connection. Great, that works fine. We'll call that connection FreshBooks and save that. Okay, now the next step here is to create a source system. It's a little bit more metadata about our sources. Once I create that, now I get on my sources window, I see a FreshBooks um, source. And here you can see we've uh, pulled back all the tables. So effectively what ODBC does is uh, makes that software as a service provider look like a database to you. Um, and here we can see things like invoices and all the columns in the invoice. We can see uh, all sorts of things that we want to do if we can look around. So the next step with the Modelo is using the Star Schema Wizard. And the Star Schema Wizard is a really quick way of um, creating an initial data warehouse. Um, from, from here you can do a whole lot more um, complex and interesting things with the Modelo. But this is the really you know, basic, quick way of creating an initial data warehouse. So what we're going to do is look at um, a table called time entries. So we're going to look at, we're going to say time entries is one of the facts that we're interested in. And if I look at time entries, I can see that uh, a time entries is related to a staff member, a project and a task. Okay, so the first thing you do with our wizard is you pull in the table that you believe is the source of your fact, in this case time entries. And then I'm going to put some dimensions around that. So I'm going to say staff, I'm going to say tasks, and I'm going to pro say projects. So then we want to step through uh, the wizard. So we hit next. And now we're looking at our time entries fact table and I'm looking for things that are measures. So in this case there's only one measure and that's hours. Uh, and we click through to next. Now we're looking at the staff dimension here. You can see here it's defined what the key is, all the attributes. I've defaulted them to type 1 or 2. Perhaps let's say um, we might want to say that the rate will make that a type 2. Um, Actually, probably we don't want that as an attribute, actually. Um, what can we put it as type 2? Let's say there's city. Uh, and over here we want to say how we want to join back to this fact. Of course, there's a staff ID is the key of the dimension, so we use a staff ID from the fact. And step through there. Next, and I'll just quickly get through each of our dimensions here. And projects by project ID. Hit finish. Okay, so what the model does now is it actually generates the design effectively for um, your data warehouse. So as we can see here, I've got three dimensions, project, staff, and tasks. I've got a single fact table, time entries, and I've got staging tables. And like I said, um, this is just a really quick start way. If you want to do much more complex things than this, you can. You can uh, manually create new staging tables, etc. Um, which I won't demonstrate in this uh, at this time, 
and go in here, look at the projects, the staging table, look at the columns that it's brought through, to find an extract. Uh, editing, that, editing that extract, we're looking at the source, we're looking at the mappings between uh, source and the staging columns. But what I'm what I'm trying to achieve is just show you a really quick uh, demonstration of how the model A uh, connects to um, FreshBooks. So really the next step here is we want to just generate and deploy all the code. So I'll say generate and deploy all. So what this is doing is it's generating all the SQL code to update the uh, the data warehouse to create a staging database, to create a data warehouse database, to maintain all the attributes etc in that database. You can see here it's generating a whole lot of uh, code artifacts in our build project here. Down here you can see the, the progress of the generation. It's just filling out all these different code artifacts which make up your solution. Okay, now we can see down here it's generating all the SSIS packages to uh, implement the ETL. So uh, the Model O architect is uh, unique in that it generates uh, the entire stack, the entire ETL stack is generated in um, SSIS packages. Okay, so that has generated all the code for our um, solution. It's deploying that code as we speak. So I can go to my uh, server here, refresh this, and I should have a number of databases here. So we've got the FreshBooks demo, the batch database, and the staging database, and the data warehouse database. Okay, with our dimensions and our fact table. Okay, so what do we want to do next? We want to run the batch. Okay, so from the development tool, you can run the batch uh, here. We click on batch. So what this is doing is executing all of those um, packages it generated. It uses a workflow file to define the order in which packages are run. Very simple little piece of XML to define the workflow of your batch. And nearly done. Right, so that's complete. So we've run the batch now and we can go and look at the uh, data warehouse and uh, see if we've uh, produced some data. So unfortunately our little test FreshBooks uh, account doesn't have a lot of data in it but um, you'll get the idea. So here we have our FreshBooks uh, demo warehouse. We have our three dimensions, project staff tasks and one fact, time entries. And I can uh, select some data from there and I can see I've got some information in my um, projects dimension with all the uh, required management columns and do the same and look at the task dimension a few tasks in there um, we can look at the staff dimension it's just one person myself and we can look at the fact time entries and again only a very small amount of data one entry in fact so uh, that's a quick demonstration of how you can use the model architect uh, to create a data warehouse and source data from our SaaS provider. Um, if you're interested in uh, Demodelo, then please visit our website www.demodelo.com. That's D-I-M-O-D-E-L-O.com. Um, and uh, if you're interested, we'll be happy to provide you with a demo, uh, or you can download a trial on the website. Okay. Well, thanks for watching and uh, signing off. Thank you.